What's going on guys? Bobby with Consumer Time Capsule back with another review for you here and today we're back at the capsule to talk to you about three new flavors of Oreos. We got chocolate hazelnut, Java chip, and Brookie O, which is apparently a combination of regular cream, cookie dough, and brownie dough? <laughs> brownie batter? So that's the bro part. That's the bro part. <laughs> the, the thing about Oreos is the beginning of the year, you always can count on them for lots of cereals and not, lots of new flavors of Oreos. Usually they turn out to be pretty good. Whew. I just can't wait to get to that Brookio. So even mm. though I should save it for last, I want to do it first. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we got to start things out today with the Brookio. I mean, this is one of the more intimidating looking Oreo cookies that oh, I've ever great. seen one. It's not just Oreo cream, but it's also with brownie batter. And then it's also with chocolate chip cookie dough. And there seems to be an ample amount of each on the normal chocolate Oreo cookie. Who thought of this? <laughs> <laughs> the only way to get into a good old fashioned Oreo review is you gotta try the cream by itself. And this one has an extra thick layer of cookie dough. And I wow. like that. Mm. Crazy. So smooth. But then it's got a little bit of crunchiness from the chocolate chips. Most of what I'm tasting is a pretty chocolate chip cookie doughy flavor. But Ryan, you're gonna try one of these oh. milk here. With milk. Go for it. Okay. Dunk it in. I hold it for a long time. Don't be scared. <laughs> I'm not I'm not mad at you. So these were $3.49 at Albertsons, which is a little high for a Oreo, but in their defense, these cookies are massive. And I think they deserve, we deserve to be charged a premium for these. <laughs> what is it, a 50 cent premium? Mm-hmm. Mm. Dang. It adds in another thing. You know, now you're adding in a, a crunchy chocolate cookie, but you're still getting so much soft center in the little added crispiness of the chocolate chips. It does have more of a brownie taste when you hit it with some milk. It kind of does taste like a brownie. I think it does a good job of mimicking like the crispy edges of a brownie, how it has the smoothness from the inside portion of the brownie, and then the crunchiness of the, like the outside edges. That is more what it reminds me of, but I guess that's part of a brookie too. This is gonna be a tough one to beat today. That's why I should have done it third, but I just couldn't wait. This, 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 this one was the one that I really, really was looking forward to. But let's get into Java Chip. Java Chip is up next. $2.49 at Kroger. You heard right. It was a dollar and one cent less for the family size bag of Java Chip than it was for the regular size Brookio at Albertsons. But that's less of a flavor or style of Oreo thing and more of a where you bought it thing because Albertsons is always pretty expensive. Anyway, getting into the cookies here, as you can see, we've got the regular Oreo cookie base. And then we've got a coffee flavor cream with chocolatey chips. It's not coffee grounds, it's chocolate chips, which I guess that is where the chip comes in in Java chip. As usual, it's an Oreo review. You gotta try the cream by itself first and this is really more like a double stuff cream this it's is a lot of cream a lot of cream yeah. for it not to be yeah, specially yeah. labeled you know i'm not big on coffee but this tastes a lot like the original cream with chocolate chips just with a little bit of a coffee undertone mm -hmm. and i like that i like that a lot this turned out very well ryan i'm gonna let you milk up a cookie oh, here we and go. we're gonna see how these things turn out in milk all right here's the milk test this doesn't make a lot of sense but i am getting more of a coffee flavor now that it's in milk yeah, and now totally. ryan i see you nodding with agreement totally. you wouldn't think that that would be the case versus just having the cream which is supposed to be where all the coffee flavor is coming from the cream tasted less like coffee then the cream plus the double chocolate cookie going into milk does. Fruit I, math. 
Yeah, I was about to say, <laughs> this is above my head in so many ways from a chemistry perspective, but I can just tell you what I taste. It doesn't have to make sense. For somebody who doesn't like coffee, this is hitting the spot. I could eat several more of these. Even in milk, it's still not a offensively bitter coffee flavor. It's really still just a, um, it is a contributing flavor, I guess is a, is a better way of saying it. It's not, not a dominant flavor, but it's in there. So, not too bad. The third and final flavor is chocolate hazelnut, AKA basically Nutella without having to pay the rights for it. So <laughs> good on Oreo for that. So these are, once again, regular chocolate base Oreos. This one has got that uh, hazelnut cream on the inside. It has the thinnest layer of cream for the day, which is really not saying much since the other two are really beasts. Looks good, certainly a promising flavor, sounds delicious. Just cream review here. Ooh, way different texture, very sticky. The others were so smooth, had a light granularity to them too. This one is like almost like chewing gum. Mm. Like Weird. not normal cream. I don't know. Maybe that has something to do with the hazelnut. I don't. I don't know. Do you ever have you ever just had a scoop of Nutella? I'm about to lose a lot of uh, food review credibility. <laughs> I've never had Nutella in any way, shape, or no form, way. unless it is like a flavor in like a dessert or something. Like I've never actually just had a scoop of Nutella on something or like a. You're, you're not fat enough for this. Show. I don't know. <laughs> I don't collect it. Fatty now. Hmm. I have had just straight up scoop of like a spoonful of Nutella within the last month. <laughs> this is Boy, pretty this accurate is, This is tasty though. I mean, yeah. really, really tasty. I mean, look, I've, I've had Nutella in my life. I just have never, like, I don't think I've ever held a tub of Nutella and applied Nutella to something, is what I'm saying. Esteban P is gonna send you some Nutella. I know, I'm really in trouble here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but the good news is this is delicious. I mean, this is, this tastes like a permanent Oreo flavor to me. Like when, um, when M&M's did the hazelnut spread M&M's, mm -hmm. they turned that into a permanent flavor. Mm -hmm. This kind of strikes me like that, whereas the Java chip and the Brookio felt like a limited time only cookie. Mm -hmm. This feels like a permanent, non-gimmicked up Oreo. Pretty accurate flavor. I mean, look, maybe maybe I don't eat enough Nutella to really be all that discerning about it, but Ryan, you, you really echoed my sentiments before I even let them out. There's really no reason to co-brand with Nutella. I mean, it tastes tastes like it's Nutella just, Oreo. Yeah. <laughs> so, not not so bad. Not so bad at all. So getting into the gimmick grade here, uh, I, I think we've got a couple pretty conventional ones and one just absolutely insane one. So the insane <laughs> one is Java Chip. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> what if I really did that? Um, so Java Chip, least interesting one, most predictable one in terms of a flavor. I mean, it's really not a gimmick product. So gimmick is what? Maybe a two and a half out of 10. Yeah. I, I mean, the, the design's boring. It's just... It's not a gimmick product, so it gets a low gimmick rate. That's just the way it works. Chocolate hazelnut, maybe a little tiny bit more interesting, but not by a whole heck of a lot from a gimmick perspective. Once again, packaging, very boring, but not a gimmick product. So a three out of 10, but you know, it's just not the game that they're playing. Brookio, that is definitely the game that they're playing. If it weren't for just Oreo always making I mean, almost always making such plain designs. Of course, they have Lady Gaga Oreos right now that are like really? hot fluorescent magenta. Ooh. But I mean, they don't taste different, so I didn't get them. Uh. But I'm going to get get them for their package at some point. Brookie, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Basically, an 8 out of 8 for crazy idea and a 0 out of 2 for a nice package. <laughs> but that brings us into our capsule countdown. Look, the taste of all three of these was pretty solid. I'd say met my expectations. I don't know, I didn't know what to expect and exceeded my expectations are really the way that this one end up, ended up working. 
you know, I really thought the Java chip was going to be my number three, but something did disturb me about the chocolate hazelnut Oreos. It's going to bump it down to third for me, and I, I think you know what it is, Ryan. When you eat just the cream by itself, it's weird, and it, not in a good way. You guys really should try it, actually, just so you can kind of understand. It's kind of like peanut butter, kind of like chewing gum, but nothing like Oreo cream at all. Um, and it's hard for me to separate from that experience. Now that said, it's solid. It does the job of tasting like a chocolate hazelnut Oreo when it's in your mouth as a fully formed cookie and milk. You know, I'm trying to look for some differentiators between that and my second favorite cookie. And that's one thing that really sticks out like a sore thumb. Still a solid offering, seven out of 10. Third place on today's Capsule nice. Countdown. We're talking about some high performers here today. Third place, seven. Third place, still getting a seven. Look, it's not a wide margin because seven and a half for our second place is going to be Java Chip. Mm. Look, Java Chip benefited from an extra thick layer of cream. It also benefited from not going way over the edge in terms of just trying to make this taste so much like coffee. Just because it says it on the label doesn't mean you need to go out of control. Tasted like a delicious double stuffed Oreo cookie first, and then a little bit of extra chocolate chip and coffee flavor after. So a well-designed cookie, but it's not crazy different enough that you can really say much in its favor either. So basically it was a good safe bet, but it, it wasn't really adding enough for me to break it past about a seven and a half. So it's gonna get second place. Look, Brookio, this was a totally unique experience. I thought they did a great job of really mixing three wildly different flavors and really four if you include the outer cookie and then the inner cream of Oreo, which I guess really probably should. So I tasted all four flavors in complete symmetry. I mean, it just was really a beautiful thing. They did a great mm -hmm. job. They did a great job. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. First nice. place on today's Capsule Countdown. Look, you gotta love the cream. You can't, you know, I mean, we're talking about uh, some Wu-Tang stuff. I mean, <laughs> cream. <laughs> if you are not loving cream. cream rules everything. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, Oreo cream <laughs> rules everything around me. Uh, but if you don't love cream, you're in trouble on this one because it is, uh, it is a thick, thick layer as, Triple threat. as thick as I've had since they had that most stuff Oreos. So, mm. uh, you know, but I loved those and I love these eight and a half out of 10 first place on today's capsule countdown. You know what else I love and that I'm growing to love more day in and day out lately is McDonald's translate signs. I just, I have started collecting these to a, to just a, a unreasonable degree might be the way of saying it. I've, as you guys may have heard on uh, my solo review, I was traveling to Missouri just to go see a private collector to try to acquire a bunch. From the archives for today is still cookie related, but it's McDonald's Translate related. It is the Keebler Cookie Toppers from 1989. You heard that right. And look how great they look under these new fancy lights that we have, right? Ooh, these yeah. signs look great. So these are gonna be making for some nice historical pieces that you and I will be working on before long, Ryan. But uh, so basically at McDonald's in 1989, if you got a milkshake or if you got a, a sundae, they would give you a bag of Rainbow Chips Deluxe, or Grasshopper Sandwich Cookies, or Chips Deluxe, or EL Fudge. I mean, who's not picking EL Fudge <laughs> to go with your ice cream? And I think that that's a brilliant idea, and I want to collect these, these containers, too, because they look pretty cool. But this translate sign is one of the few things that actually document this. I don't know if it was just a test. I don't know if it stuck around, but I know it didn't stick around long. This is just something that... While we were talking about cookies, I thought it was a good chance to kind of introduce that to the internet because uh, McDonald's really did a lot of crazy and cool stuff. And I'm trying to figure out a way to tell that history in the best way possible. But along the way, as Ryan and I are brainstorming what new video features we're gonna be starting here on the CTC, 
uh, channel in the next year, you're going to be seeing more McDonald's translite signs. So I hope you like them. Isn't translite? Translite. So basically, you uh, it's it's like a it's a piece of plastic that they shine light through. Oh. And so they call it translite. I don't I don't actually know. That could be a brand. I don't know. T r a n s l i t e. But that is the style of sign that they would put on the menu board. So the 14 by 14s would go on the outdoor drive through stick. And then the 22s by 22s, the larger versions, would go on the in indoor kind of overhead menu above where the cashiers are. So I have mostly 22 by 22s, but the 14 by 14 was the only one I had of the cookies. I had to get that one in there. Next time, we are going to be talking about Rice Krispie Treats home style and the newest flavor of Pop-Tarts pretzel, which is salted caramel. So I think it's going to be a pretty tasty lightning round, or excuse me, pretty tasty CTC review next week. So make sure that you tune in on Monday for that. And of course, until next time, I will miss you until I see you.